Hello, welcome to lesson five on linear functions from our new playlist uh, series, Essential Mathematics. Uh, this video, I'm Dr. Marrero, is about finding the uh, equation of the line in point slope and in a standard form. In previous videos, we discussed and, and we learned how to do it with a slope intercept form. So, if you have not seen the new playlist about functions, I do recommend it strongly because you need to see that in order to follow the series. This is the lesson five on point slope and a standard form. See you now. Point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We have two elements here. So at one point, the x1 and the y1, there are the coordinate of the point and the slope, which is m. Remember in the previous videos about a slope intercept form, we were using, we were using the point, uh, the slope and the y intercept. It's the same way, but with a different structure. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 is another way to write the same idea, the linear function. So let's, what is the other one? The other one is the standard form. What is the standard form? Standard form is ax plus by equals c. So these are the two equations that, uh, along with the, the slope intercept forms, represents the three forms or the three ways that we have to write the same linear function. Let's see now one example of a linear function in point and slope form, a classic example. So a classic example is right here. What is the equation of the line that passed through the points negative three and four and has a slope of two thirds? So we have the two elements. We have the point negative three and four, x1 is negative three, y1 is four, and we have the slope two over three. So we substitute the values into the form. Remember the form is y minus y1. Since y1 is four, we substitute the y by four equals m. m is two-thirds, so we substitute the m by two-thirds. Parenthesis. x minus, because the, the form contains a minus, minus x1. x1 is negative three. Now minus and minus is plus three. So now we have the equation in point of slope form. We have the point negative, the, the point uh, negative three and, and four, and the slope two-thirds. This is a classic question. So what else do we have? Suppose that we have this question. What is the equation of the line that passes through the point negative four, negative four, and has a slope of zero? When the slope is zero, it's because the line is flat. The line is horizontal. This is important. When the slope is zero, the line is flat, it's horizontal. So let's try the point in slope form. So we have y minus y1, y1 is negative 4, equals m, m is 0, substitute the m by 0, parenthesis, x minus x1, which is negative 4. You know that x minus negative 4 on the right side is equal x plus 4, but when you multiply by 0, the entire right side becomes in 0. And on the left, you have y minus negative 4, which is y plus 4, since negative times negative is positive. This is the equation y plus 4 equals 0. If we leave the y by itself, we have y equals negative 4. This is y equals negative 4 is a horizontal line. It's a clear horizontal line. y equals negative 4, the slope is 0. You can see it now, the whole thing y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is the point of slope. Replace the values for y1, the values for x1, the values for the m, and do the algebra. What is another question here? What is the equation of the line that passed through the points 7 and negative 4 and has an undefined slope? If we have an undefined slope, it's because the line is vertical. This is not a function because the line is vertical, so no slope. So clearly you have to say that. It's a vertical line, 
It's not a function. But what is the representation of this line? Or what is the equation of this line? The equation of this line is just the x value. x equals 7. It's a line vertical parallel with the y-axis and passed by x equals 7. All the points over that line, the x is the same. x is equal 7. One more question. What is the equation of the line that passes through the points negative 3 and 2 and negative 6 and negative 2? Now we have two points, negative 3 and 2 and negative 6 and negative 2. We need the two elements, the slope and one point. Let's find the slope of the line. The slope of the line, we have a formula for it. This is the formula, m equals uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I do recommend that you label the points. The first point from left to right is x1, y1, and the second point is x2, y2. Substitute the values here. So whatever you see the y2, you're going to put negative 2. Whatever you see the y1, you're going to put 2. Um, whatever you see the x2, you're going to put uh, negative 6. And whatever you see the x1, you're going to put negative 3. The rest is doing mathematics. So we have um, negative 2 minus 2 and negative 6 minus negative 3. You know that negative 6 minus negative 3 is negative 6 plus 3. And negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. So we have negative 4 over negative 3, which is positive 4 third. So we found the slope. We are ready to write the equation in point in slope 4. Uh, we have the slope, one of the elements, and we need a point. It's optional. It's up to you which point you pick from the ones given at the beginning of the question. I just select negative 3 and, and 2. So let's write the point is slope 4. Remember what is the point is slope 4? y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we substitute the point y2 with number 2 x1 with negative 3 and then x minus negative 3 is x plus 3 and this is the point is slope 4. If you pick the other point it's totally correct. It's totally, totally right. The students will be asking that. It's totally right. Now what is next? I want to transform this equation, this uh, form of the linear function in a standard form. How can we do that? Follow me right now. Okay, now we have the point in slope 4 and we're going to make some algebra massage here in order to transform y minus 2 equals 4 over 3 times x plus 3 into the standard form. Remember the standard form was ax plus by equals c. Let's do it. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to do something here. I'm going, to I'm going to eliminate the denominator 3. So as soon as I cross it, okay, as soon as I move it across the equal sign, we multiply the 3 times y minus 2. Let's apply the distributive property. 3 times y and 3 times negative 2. So it's going to be 3y minus 6. Now it looks better. Remember what is the idea? Ax plus by equals c. Something like, let me help you out. Something like ax, let me, let me do it this way in order for you to see it better. So ax plus by equals C. So we are looking for something like that. This is our guide. Okay? We need something like that. We still need to do more algebra massage. Let's multiply here the 4 times the x, the distributive property, and the 4 times 3. So let's do it now. This is uh, 4x plus 12. Now I have 4x, I have 3y over here. I need the x and the y on only one side. Okay. Uh, let me rearrange this uh, just to uh, 
put the minus 6 here in front. And now I'm going to move the 3y to the uh, right side. As soon as I move it across the equal sign, it will be changing the sign to negative. And now, because c is a constant, it's just a number, let me move it to the left. As soon as I move it across the equal sign, it will be negative. So let's subtract negative 12 and minus 6, which is negative 18. And this is simple. The, the uh, ax plus by equals c, inversely, but it's the same, because it's an equivalent expression, it's an equal sign. You can see the equal sign, it's an equation. So this is the way to find, to transform one form of the line into a standard form. And I hope that you have uh, understood the process. Of course, like every mathematics topic, uh, we have mm, something that we call math fluency. It's how can you get that math fluency? It's when you practice. It's when you dedicate time to manipulate the letters, to manipulate the, the numbers and the variables. This is the key to succeed in mathematics. And one of the reasons the students struggle with the mathematics, one of them is the lack of dedication to this subject that is complicated everyone knows that but it's uh it's beautiful it's amazing and as soon as you fall in love with mathematics then you you start feeling something unique that will be attached to you the rest of your life so that math fluency that is based on the procedural math and the conceptual math if you put all those three things together, the effort, the time, you're going to have math fluency and you're going to be a master in mathematical procedures and you're going to be mastering conceptual mathematics. And with those components, you will be a successful student. I recommend the five lessons from this series. Function, definition of function, domain, range, the linear function in a slope intercept form, the last video, and this video that is magnificent because it has all the typical questions, all the classical questions about point slope and how can we transform point slope into a standard form. This is a huge content uh, in the mathematics. And I promise that I will continue working on this series uh, about functions and about linear function. And what is coming now is um, we continue with the trigonometry uh, playlist and we're going to continue with linear functions. There are more elements here, more content in the linear function that I want to discuss with you. I am Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. This is an effort, a personal effort to spread out the mathematics learning. I hope that you learn it. If you learn it, please help us. Give us a like and support our channel, share, and of course, subscribe to this channel. If you like the content, if you like what I do uh, every day here for you, mathematics lawyers and mathematics learning. See you in the next video. Thank you.